just like that she's back with video number two <laughs> and for those of you who know me for those of you who don't hello my name is Kai and I'm a newly admitted New York attorney and this is the start of my video series so welcome um all my hints tips tricks everything that I wish I could have told my former self with the benefit of hindsight but giving you the foresight this is it um so yeah I've got my drink I hope you've got yours so with no further ado let's chat um okay cool so let's start right at the beginning you're starting your bar exam journey how exciting congratulations that is amazing I'm so happy for you let's talk about the things that you might want to consider like um so these there are five of them they all kind of link together so you'll see while I'm going through them they all literally mesh but these are things that I would want want to know about if I was going to do the bar exam again and there's certainly things that I would think about more than I did some of them I didn't think about at all um so okay first thing no further ado time the bar exam is a time commitment and you have a lot of things going on that make you the person you are the amazing wonderful person that you are so maybe you're working you've got family commitments you volunteer I don't know but you've got a lot going on and so you need to realistically sit down look at the time you have available because this is going to be a guiding factor in like what administration you take, what course provider you go for, if you go for one, like a whole load of factors. Also the timing in your life, like are there things going on that maybe, you know, you have so much going on right now that this is just not the time and you're thinking, okay, maybe this is for three, six, nine months down the line when I'm gonna start my journey. So the time is a massive thing that you wanna consider. And when I tell you this, I want you to like look at your life realistically and I want you to overestimate how long things take. And I say this because the vision here is for you not to get stressed. A lot of people get overwhelmed and stressed when they're prepping for the bar course because they take unforeseen time off, which actually, if they'd realistically stepped back for a second, they could have realised they were going to take that time. Um, and then they get stressed, flustered, whatever. And that's not the vision here. Like, we want to make the whole bar exam process as enjoyable as possible if that's possible I think it's possible um but yeah as seamless as smooth whatever so just think about your time if you know every Tuesday afternoon you go for coffee with your grandma and it normally takes around two hours forecast three just so you're not stressed give yourself enough time please tip number one time tip number two expenses so the bar exam is an expensive process it's a privilege but it's also an expense <laughs> so you need to think about this so are you going to work along studying are you going to self-fund from savings or are you going to take out a loan either which way you need to think about the implications of that so are you going to be able to service that loan or credit card or whatever that you've taken out if you're studying that way if you're working links back to time are you gonna like how's that gonna fact factor with your energy for the day like you need to think about that are you gonna start at the beginning like study at the beginning of the day or the end of the day you know how are you gonna feel about that so consider it if you're self-funding great like have you got enough in reserves to pay for the things that you need like your rent like other expenses just think about it um and also that will help you determine you know course providers and again timing of which bar administration you go for so think about your time think about your expenses the next thing I'm going to tell you is more relevant to like foreign trained attorneys who are then going to have to go over to the States for some of the exams. So you need to consider <laughs> and in advance, please, because there is no point in getting to the point where you have literally paid your bar fees. You've got the exam coming up and you haven't thought about these things. Visa insurance. <laughs> I hope you don't need the insurance, but just consider it. Look into your visas, look into your insurance. I travelled on the ESTA, wrote on the, wrote on the ESTA. Um, it works for me it might not work for you please look into it it's important and also with insurance in the uk we have the nhs you don't have that in america so please look into it because i would hate it if you slipped tripped fell whatever well i'm well you needed it you didn't have it so look into it sort it early done dusted makes things a lot smoother um the next thing everyone needs to know when you're starting the bar exam what is your why and what i mean by this is like why are you doing why are you putting yourself through this why are you writing the bar exam what is your end game here? What do you want to achieve? Um, and this will be personal to you, but this is something that you need to figure out and you need to figure it out early because there are certain things like the expense, like the time commitment, um, like the ups and downs of life that you're going to feel like, oh, it's great studying or oh, I hate studying, like whichever. But these, like knowing firmly the reason you're doing this is going to help you get through the process. And, and yeah, hopefully make it again more of a rewarding and enjoyable thing because you're going to be like this is this is contributing to my vision or my dream or whatever and help me to be able to do x y and z so what is your why and then this ties in nicely to my last point uh for today's little coffee size chat video <laughs> um your mindset 
your mindset is so valuable and so important and I'm a huge believer in it and this is why on my Instagram there are going to be so many like mantras, manifestations, affirmations that you'll see going on there. Your mind is so important and so powerful and it's part of you. So in prep like preparation, preparing for the bar exam, I need you to start getting the right amount of sleep. I need you to start eating well, like remember to eat. It's important. Remember to drink and also remember to give yourself time for mindfulness, for exercise, whatever it is. Something that you enjoy as well is very, very important because getting you in the right frame of mind when you're ready and prepared to study is crucial. Like honestly, it's going to help keep you sane in the whole process because this is an emotional exertion. Like writing the bar exam is it's time intensive. It means like your like certain like relationships with people might be strained because you just don't have the time available anymore to you know hang out or do whatever it is you wanted to do or that you might have done for longer or more of. So it's so key to get your mind right. It's powerful. It's important. And I'm excited for you because like, yeah, hopefully with the time, expenses, knowing your why, sorting your visa and, visas and insurance early, getting your mind right, you're onto a winning path. Um, so yeah, I hope this first video was really insightful. It's triggered some thoughts for you. Um, if there's anything you'd like me to do a subsequent video on, please hit me up in the DMs. Um, and yeah, I've got my plan for my next video, which will be coming shortly. But I hope you're just about finished on your drink. I'm wrapping up on today's chat, but yeah, it was awesome catching up and see you at the next one.